guys welcome back to the channel i welcome you to my channel be codewala with a new amazing project which you can see in my web page image casual so here you can see the beautiful image with a beautiful heading and the subtitle of this page with a beautiful previous and next button and a beautiful container so to make this we have used html css and javascript so let's start the video so here we have a image and a main a heading this is a very beautiful stylish person wearing a beautiful sunglasses so here is the previous button here is the next button so let's click on next button when you click on next button see the image has been changed the title has been changed and the caption of this also changed travel with bike solo bike travel is the best so when i click on this previous button it will come again the previous image and the title and the caption so like that we have made the image cursor when you click on next button it will give another next image when you click again on next button it will give another image so when you click on previous it will give previous image so like that we have made beautiful image cursor like this so to make this we have used html css and javascript so before that if you are new to our channel please don't forget to subscribe us so please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you did not miss the notification so come to our vs code here i used mostly vs code because it's free to use and it's very useful for developers and easily user interactive so here first of all i have made my html file then css file then javascript file so first of all we start with html file so here you can see here in html file i first written the basic structure of my html so how to write the basic structure of html i'll show you made type this i sign and press enter you'll get the basic structure of the html it's a shortcut in vs code so a lot of shortcuts are there in vs code you can use it in your code so here after writing the basic structure of html then here i've linked my css file which you can see here so after that i've linked the font awesome see link to get the icon like this i'll show you so this next and previous button which uh, you are seeing on my web page this uh, next and previous button we are getting from this font awesome website we can search on font awesome and you can link the css file so here i have taken the title image cursor so now in here in body tag i have taken a div with class wrapper and in this class wrapper i have taken a div another div with class container and in this container i have taken an image and then in image i have taken the title main so which you can see here i'll show you this main see main title and this beautiful image and this caption this is a very beautiful stylish person wearing a sunglasses so here in paragraph we have taken the subtitle of our title so similarly this uh, we have to copy this this up to this and you have to paste how much times you want images and subtitle in your image cursor 
so we can paste it and uh, change this images blue and this title and subtitle similarly change in other also a div class container this div with class container will be same you know just we have to change this uh, image title and subtitle how much images and titles you want you can change it copy and paste it and make changes in it so then go for buttons so we have taken a div with class button and in this i have taken the icon tag in this which you can get it from font of some website so from that we have taken to take this previous and next button so you can just copy and paste and see the result then here i've linked my javascript file which you will see here so then come for css file so in css file for our web page padding and margin we have taken zero box size in border box and a background color code this and font family sensory then we have taken a container and in this container height 30 rem and display should be done and width 20 rem and a box shadow 3 pixel 4 pixel 10 pixel blur and this color code black then margin 4 rem from top and bottom and auto from left and right so then here border radius 10 pixel border width 2 pixel and border style i have taken solid so you know border image so the linear gradient should be to right bottom this color code and this color code we have taken in our container which you can see here so now the border image slice one and background color of our image is this color code which you can see so then for the images in our container which you can see here this image so for that image we have taken width 13 rm height 13 rm and a border radius 5 pixel margin left 3.4 rm and a top margin margin top 3 rm and a box shadow 3 pixel 4 pixel 25 pixel with this color code black then for our heading which you can see here this heading main so for that we have taken a background color code this and font size 1.5 rm and margin 1 rm and 1.5 rm and font weight 700 and a color of the text this color code then for our subtitle which you can see this is a very beautiful stylish man which you can see here for that margin 1 rem and 1.5 rem and a background color code same we have taken and the font weight 700 and a color of the text is this color code then for the buttons so which you here you can see the buttons next and previous button to get our images so display flex and justify content center and then text align item align item center and height 100 vh and a margin top minus 20 area and background color code this and then height 3 area and width 9 area and margin 1 rm and auto top minus set rm and position relative we have taken then the buttons for the icon which you can see so this icon button for that font size 1.5 rm and this color of the text is this which you can see uh, i'll change it to hex code see now then display block and margin 3 rm 
and name, background color code. This and a cursor should be pointer. So when I cursor on it, so it should be pointer, a hand like a structure. So for that. So now come to our JavaScript file. So first of all, you have created two variables for the next and previous button by the query selector, and we have selected our class next and previous. Then we have taken a one more variable, reverse should be zero and carousel in carousel R A B this variable we have taken then for when we previous dot a add event listener so it's a event when we click on the previous button what will happen though uh, this uh, starting it will be default it will be nothing and when we will press on previous button it will show the back image in our carousel so carousel dot rv so then when you click on next button it it will show the next image rv plus one means it will show the next image by clicking on it in our carousel and then here we have taken a function carousel with a wrapper which you can see here wrapper our class so then let reviews document dot get element by class name container we have taken and then if wrapper is greater than review dot length the wrapper equal to zero and ref equal to zero so here if wrapper is less than g zero then wrapper equal to review dot length minus one and review dot length minus one so which you can see here our wrapper class with this container we have uh, taken a for loop and in this addition we have zero then review dot length equal to i plus plus it will increase review i dot style dot display none and uh, it should be display block whatever our wrapper we have taken so when the uh, we will click on this image i'll show you so when i click on this it will display block and we st style none here you can see so for that our review we have taken this function so you can if you don't know the javascript html css you can take the tutorials which are available on youtube so you can watch it and then you can learn it if you don't know and then you can implement in your code and you can try it how it work so that's it for our code so now we have completed our code so like that we have made our image carousel and hope you guys like the video subscribe the channel and don't forget to share with your friends so thanks for watching we'll meet in next video with a new amazing project thank you